Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we gather with open hearts to discuss a topic that requires deep reflection and empathy, the unchanging love of God for all, including our brothers and sisters in the LGBTQ plus community. It is crucial that we, as followers of Christ, embrace a message that challenges our preconceived notions and invites us to extend love and compassion to those who have felt marginalized. Let us turn to the scriptures, the timeless and inspired word of God, to discern his heart on this matter. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, we read, So God created mankind in his own image, in the image of God he created them, male and female he created them. These profound words remind us that every individual, regardless of sexual orientation or gender identity, bears the divine imprint of our loving Creator. As we explore further, we find the commandment given by Jesus himself in Matthew chapter 22 verse 39, Love your neighbor as yourself. This all-encompassing love, free from judgment and prejudice, is the cornerstone of our faith. It is a love that transcends societal labels, a love that invites us to see each person as a unique reflection of God's creativity and grace. To fully comprehend the depth of God's love, we must also address certain scriptural passages that have been misinterpreted or used to condemn the LGBTQ community. One such passage is Leviticus chapter 18 verse 22, which states, you shall not lie with a man as with a woman. It is an abomination. While it is essential to respect the authority of scripture, we must approach these verses with contextual understanding. Leviticus contains numerous purity laws that were specific to the ancient Israelites and served a particular purpose in their societal structure. It is crucial to interpret these verses in light of the transformative message of Jesus Christ and the new covenant he established. In the New Testament, we encounter the Apostle Paul's writings, including 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verses 9 to 10, where he lists various behaviors, including homosexuality, as sinful. However, we must consider the cultural and historical context of these passages. Paul was addressing specific issues within the Corinthian church, such as idolatry and sexual immorality, that were prevalent in the ancient Greco-Roman society. It is vital to discern the underlying principles of love, purity, and faithfulness rather than fixating solely on the specific acts mentioned. In the ministry of Jesus, we witness a radical inclusion that challenges societal norms. Jesus embraced those considered outcasts by society, the tax collectors, prostitutes, and sinners. He extended his love and forgiveness to those who were marginalized, revealing God's boundless grace and mercy. As followers of Christ, we are called to emulate his example and be ambassadors of his love in a world that desperately needs it. Brothers and sisters, it is not our place to judge or condemn. Rather, we are called to be agents of healing, compassion, and understanding. We must strive to create spaces within our churches and communities where all individuals can authentically express themselves and encounter the transforming power of God's love. Let us be listeners, advocates, and allies, seeking to understand the unique challenges faced by our LGBTQ brothers and sisters. Let us remember the words of the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 13, and now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Love, my dear brothers and sisters, is the transformative force that can change hearts, bridge divides, and bring healing to a broken world. It is our responsibility as followers of Christ to extend love to all, including our LGBTQ brothers and sisters. Let us rid ourselves of prejudice, judgment, and condemnation, and instead embrace empathy, compassion, and acceptance. Let us actively dismantle the walls of exclusion, striving to create a church and a world where every individual feels seen, heard, and loved. In this journey of understanding and growth, we may face challenges and uncertainties. It is natural to have questions and wrestle with theological interpretations. Let us approach these discussions with humility, seeking the guidance of the Holy Spirit and the wisdom found in Scripture. Let us engage in respectful dialogue, listening to diverse perspectives, and growing together as a community of faith. To our LGBTQ brothers and sisters who may have experienced rejection or discrimination, hear these words, God loves you unconditionally. You are fearfully and wonderfully made and your identity is embraced within the vastness of God's love. You are not alone. We, as a church, stand with you, seeking to embody the love of Christ in every aspect of our ministry and outreach. 
May our commitment to love and inclusion be unwavering. Let us extend our hands and hearts to those who have been hurt and marginalized. Let us offer spaces of worship, fellowship, and service that celebrate the diversity of God's creation. Together, may we work towards a world where every person is valued, cherished, and empowered to fulfill their God-given potential. As we depart from this gathering, may we carry the message of love and inclusion into our homes, workplaces, and communities. May we be living testimonies of the transformative power of God's love, making a difference in the lives of those around us. And may we continually seek God's guidance, allowing His Spirit to transform our hearts and shape us into ambassadors of His reconciling love. May God bless you abundantly as you embrace this message of love and extend it to all, for we are all children of God, united by His unconditional love.